Hello, this is the Hunter Hunter Institute. It is no exaggeration to say that Kite was the most influential factor in Gon's decision to become a hunter. Despite being an important character in the story, he was easily killed by Neferpito, and we're sure that was a very memorable scene for many of us. Also, do you think that many fans love Kite? If we had to choose a boss to work for among the characters of Hunter x Hunter, we would choose Kite. In this video, we will discuss Kite's personality and Nen ability, and also consider how he was able to reincarnate after being killed by Pito. If you think that this theory is credible after watching this video, please give it a like. If you know of other theories, please let us know in the comment section. 1. Kite Kite has a tall and slender appearance with silky long hair. He has a cool and composed personality along with an inquisitive mind. As expected of a disciple of Jing, he has all the qualities of being a very capable hunter. Although Kite is usually calm and collected, he saved Gon from a fox bear on Whale Island and taught him mercilessly about the harshness of nature. At that time, he didn't know that Gon was Jing's son, so we can assume that Kite would firmly scold any child, even if he didn't know them, if they did something bad. You can sense his passion and warmth as a human, right? 2. Nen Ability Kite's Nen Ability is called Crazy Slots. This ability allows him to conjure weapons with a clown affixed to it based on a random number from 1 to 9. The Nen ability in Japanese has the word clown included in the name. Usually we don't see clowns talk, but the clown on Crazy Slots is quite the chatterbox. His tone is similar to Kite's and not very pleasant. Crazy Slots has some conditions, such as not being able to choose the random number outcome, and once a weapon is materialized, it will not disappear until it is properly used. The usability is not very good, right? Kite often complains that it is very annoying. The outcome of the slot machine on the clown's tongue determines which weapon will appear, and not all of them have appeared in the story. Here, we will introduce the slot numbers that have appeared so far. Number 2. Silent Waltz When the number 2 comes out, Kite conjures a very sharp and enormous scythe. Silent Waltz is the name of the attack Kite performs with the scythe, and it is also the only way that the scythe can be utilized. It is an incredibly powerful wide-range attack, but its usability is poor when allies are nearby. However, it can be very effective when Kite is fighting solo against many enemies, so it really depends on the situation whether this weapon and attack can be useful or not. Kite himself said that hitting number 2 on the slots was considered an unlucky draw. Number 3. Mace Kite conjures a clown-like mace or a stick. This weapon was conjured during Kite's fight against Pito to buy some time. There's no battle scenes with this weapon, but since it was the last weapon we see Kite use, perhaps this slot number 3 is the one that Jing mentioned would only appear when Kite has a strong will to survive and does not wish to die. Number 4. Carbine Kite conjures a carbine with its shape similar to a long-barreled handgun. Its size is about the same as Kite's height when held diagonally, so it's quite large. As Gon and Killua did not notice it when Kite used it to shoot down Chimera and soldiers in the narcotics factory, it is thought that the gun has a silencer on it. These are the three slot number outcomes that are known of Kite's crazy slots. We believe that the other numbers that weren't shown in the story would also be other commonly used major weapons, such as swords, axes, knives, spears, and bows. Please let us know what you think Kite's other weapons are in the comment section. It is not known if Kite's sword-like weapon he used when saving Gon from the fox bear was conjured by Crazy Slot, but it is a possibility that the sword does fit into one of the slot numbers. 3. Battle against Neferpito In order to carry out the Chimera Ant extermination mission, Kite was approaching the Queen's Nest along with Gon and Killua. Kite instructed Gon and Killua to immediately leave as soon as they felt the terribly ominous aura of Pito, who had not yet been born. In a moment of hesitation, Pito struck first and cut off Kite's arm. After that, Killua and Gon, who had to be restrained by Killua, fled quickly per Kite's orders. 
Kite stayed to battle Pito and was unfortunately killed by them. The scene of Pito holding Kite's severed head was very traumatic, wasn't it? Afterwards, Pito, who desperately wanted to fight Kite again, sewed up Kite's body and used him like a puppet. It is also believed that this puppet made from Kite's corpse was used for training the Chimera Ant Soldiers. When Kite fought with his mace weapon, he said that he was trying to buy time in order for Gon and Killua to get as far away from there as possible, which suggests that he may have already predicted his defeat. It makes us feel Kite's manliness. 4. Reincarnation A while after Kite's death was confirmed, a young girl was born from the Chimera Ant Queen. Colt decided to take her in and named her Reyna. But when she started saying strange things, Colt decided to consult with Morau. While Colt was on the phone with Morau, Reyna began to say that her name wasn't Reyna, but it was Kite. Later on, the Chimera Ant version of Kite, which we will refer to as Kite-chan, was able to meet Gon. The way she referred to herself as Ore put honorifics on Jing's name and speaking similarly to Kite. While having no connection to Gon nor Jing, during her past life as a human girl that she takes the appearance of, makes it seem clear that she is Kite, but the reason is not told in the story. The most popular theory is that Kite was reincarnated through the abilities of one of the Crazy Slot's weapons. The theory that Kite reincarnated with Crazy Slots. It is believed that Kite was reincarnated after being killed by Pito, and this was confirmed by a line that was said by Jing when he reunited with Gon, where Jing said that Kite's Crazy Slot Nen ability saved him. Jing said that Crazy Slots includes a number that only appears when Kite has a strong will to survive and absolutely does not want to die. The weapon that Kite conjured during his battle against Neferpito was Number 3's mace, right? Compared to his other weapons like the Long Gun or Big Scythe, we can't help but to think it's a bit weaker as a weapon. But what if this weapon holds the ability of reincarnation? Even the clown on Crazy Slots was saying to land on a good number because this was a matter of life or death. Although the actual scene is not shown, Gon and Killua had managed to escape to a safe place, which meant Kite was able to buy enough time for them to run away. Even in the very disadvantageous situation where Kite had been outmaneuvered and lost an arm, it is believed that Kite's strong desire to live long enough to get Gon and Killua as far away as possible affected the outcome of the slots and stopped on a number that conjured a weapon with the reincarnation ability. The shape of the weapon is also in the form of a baton. Could this mean this weapon acts as a baton to be passed to Kite in his next life? Of course, he could have been thinking about Gon and Killua, but considering Kite's own personality, he might have truly thought he didn't want to die in such a place. For these reasons we've mentioned, we believe that the weapon conjured by outcome number 3 in Crazy Slots has the ability of reincarnation. After his demise at the hands of Pito, Kite reincarnated into a red-haired young girl who was technically born as Meruem's twin sister, so there is no doubt that she is a Chimera ant. Kite-chan refers to herself as both Atachi and Ore, indicating that the coexistence of souls may be possible. We are looking forward to seeing Kite-chan's future involvement in Hunter x Hunter. In this video, we focused on Kite and examined him in detail. Since Kite is a popular character, there are many theories related to him. What do you all think about Kite's reincarnation? Please let us know in the comment section. If you want to see more of Kite-chan's involvement in the story, then you are already a member of the Hunter x Hunter Institute. We'll continue to post videos to show how great Hunter x Hunter is, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all for today. See you all again in the next video.